Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome to the first day of the vlog. Today is Friday. It's probably, let's see if I'm right. I'm gonna say 8.15, is that right? I have no idea. Brian ran to the doctor's office this morning just for a little bit of blood work. I am getting ready. We're going to the hunting camp today. He needs to get his um, trailer, like his little pulling trailer, because on Sunday, we're going to buy all the wood for our little outdoor cabana that he's building. That's gonna be a separate video. So you won't see us like buying the wood. We're not even building it this weekend, um, but that's what we're doing today. I'm really here to tell you, I bought a couple of different products that I wanted to use with y'all, but I ended up using one of them now because I couldn't wait. And it is the Anastasia. See, if I was gonna say this without hearing other people say it, I would say Anastasia. Oh, that light died on me again. But I hear people say Anastasia, brow freeze gel. I bought the mini just in case I didn't like it. You gotta work fast, okay. But so far so good, it's holding my brows in. I also bought a Summer Fridays skin tint. Okay, we're, no light, okay, no light. I really like the Sunblock, the mineral skin tint, Sunblock I think is what it's called. I use it every single day. So I thought let's get a little tinted one to see if we like it for like hot days, which today is hot, but it's muggy. When I say muggy, I mean like humid. So I don't want like wet heat because I feel like these thin products kind of just sit on my skin. I don't know though. We've never tried it. We'll try this together. I also got the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. I see so many people use this. What I noticed the most about the product is the packaging, how pretty that like vibrant top is. I didn't try this today. We shall try it together. So those three things and then with my order at Sephora, I got to pick a couple of free products, like like these size things and this size, you know what I mean, like little samples. So I got the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. They weren't really specific if this is like a moisturizer, but I again, I love Summer Fridays. So I got that one and then I got this, I couldn't tell you how to say it, but it's a honey infused hair oil. It's the cutest package, let me show you. Look how cute that is. So we'll do those together. Maybe we'll do the hair oil now since, well, I'm gonna straighten my hair. My hair straightener is plugged up. So I'm going to straighten and then maybe at the end we'll use the hair oil. I feel like I should have been ready already. All Brian had to do at the doctor's office was blood work. Oh, I, I'm all over the place. I did order another one of these. The Kerasos Resistance Serum. So one side is clear and one side is white. It's like the clear one's like an oil texture. The white one is like a lotion texture. This is my favorite product. If I had to pick one product that's my favorite like of life, it would be this one. Like that's how it looks. See the clear and then the white. It is the most incredible. And I know it's like personal preference, but I've used it for years and it didn't matter if I had blonde hair, brown hair, short hair, long hair. I mean, I guess the texture of my hair didn't change too much with the exception of like if it had a bunch of bleach on it or something, then it was a little bit more dry. But what I love about this versus other products, like I used this heat protectant when I blow dried, um, I have another heat protectant. Like what's the difference in this is that you can use it on wet or dry hair and it will not cause your hair to get like greasy, oily, anything. It's expensive, I'll tell you that. Well, expensive to me, I guess it's all relative. It's like $37. And how much is it? 1.01 ounces. So yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but I'm telling y'all it works and it's it makes my hair, like completely changes my hair. If you've been wanting to try it, I don't know, maybe if you're like already shopping, you can get like a little sample pack of it or something, or maybe they sell minis. I don't know because that's a lot of money to spend on something if you're not sure if you're gonna like it. So, okay, I'm straightening my hair. I'll show you when I use the hair oil. Welcome back. Let's do some hair oil again. You just saw it. For me, it's been like 10 minutes. Um, there's not really any instructions on the back that I can see because look how tiny that writing is. But what we're gonna do is not do it too close to the root because I don't wanna get like greasy roots. I can't really smell it because all my hands, my hands only smell like that Kerastase. Oh, I got on my nose. I'm gonna focus on the ends. I love a good hair oil. 
The problem is I haven't really been able to find one that I love because I do have super dry hair. That was it. I didn't have anything else to say to that sentence. Maybe just a little bit here to help that. Whisper around. Okay, there's that. Let me show you my hair oils that I do like. This Kerastase one, Elixir Ultimate. I do like this. You can use it on wet or dry hair, but it's just a hair oil. Like, shine smooth. It's not a heat protectant. This one I bought because so many people said it was great. Rose hair and body oil. I don't love it. Like, it makes my hair, like, the next day feel really, like, PC. Am I using it wrong? Let me know. Oh, I just sneezed. I have this Herbal Essence Repairing Oil Mist. I don't really use this one that often. Can you use this one on wet or dry hair? Use on damp or dry hair. Do not rinse out. Avoid spraying in eyes. We're not going to use it only because we just did that other, that other one. Though it is pretty humid outside. Okay, that's it. I'm still loving my hair color. I just got it done for me not too long ago. But for y'all, it was last week's vlog. Yeah, I think it looks so good. This room, I need to clean this room. I have nothing else to say to you. I'm just rambling at this point. I'm waiting on Brian to get home. I'm gonna go pick out an outfit. I'll see you when we get in the car. Did you turn my radio down? I did. Okay. We're off. Okay. We're off. Good morning. Good morning. It is 8.54, is that correct? It is 8.54. It's 8.54. We're driving to... Hot camp. But first... Get gas. And then? Uh, get something to eat. What do you think I'm gonna say? Uh, I, have, I, I have no idea. You know you know what's up here. Oh, then we're gonna go to the yellow hammer. The yellow ham. And get some But you've been liking the coffee. um the last week last week's vlog, which actually isn't up yet when we're filming this one, but that doesn't matter. I got you the sugar-free ice blondie and I said that you've been really liking that. I do like it, I do like it. It doesn't taste anything like the regular sugar one. I tasted it. Brian tasted it too. I no. thought we were gonna have to no, I tasted CPR mine. him in the car yeah. from all the sugar. Yeah. I tasted mine and then I tasted a little, little tiny one. Yeah. A little tiny sip of hers. And uh, it's a big yeah, difference. Way different. I mean, especially when you haven't had something like that in so long. Do you think that's why I have so much energy? Or have I always been like this? No, you both, yeah, yeah. It might help a little bit though. It might. The blue shirt was a good call. Look how good it looks in the. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Let's go get our See supplies ya. and then we'll go. Yeah. My hair's already starting to get big from the weather outside. Dang it. Thank you, thank you. Cheers, mate. Ding. Oh, yeah. Ah. yeah. I can't see you. Cheers. It's not rolling though. It is. Oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> While we make our way to the hunting camp, let's do a little bit of a Sojo's Vision sunglass haul. This portion of the video is sponsored by Sojo, so thank you to them. Thank you to y'all too, because we did this, I want to say a month or two ago, and hauled like completely different sunglasses, and y'all love them so much. So we're doing it again. I also have a discount code, Taryn Denise. will save you a little bit of money at checkout. I'll put it on the screen. I'll list it down below. Each style of sunglass that I'm going to show you, I'll also link down below. You can grab these on Amazon which I think is super easy. They're also super affordable, which is really nice. Let's do this pair first. They're black rim with like a mirror purpley type effect. They're called the Trendy Oversized, I think. A lot of these two, by the way, are unisex. We'll get Brian to rate them. Oh, when you put them on, everything turns blue. <gasps> I like these. These look very Taryn. I like something oversized. I said that in the last video that I did for Sojo's, I like an oversized sunglass. These are also sunglasses. Sunglasses. <laughs> these are very lightweight, okay? We have these first. Cute, cute, cute. They come with these little cleaning pads too. These I was excited for. I hauled a pair kind of similar in color last time because I feel like these are good like costume type sunglasses too because they're so easy and so fun. Look at that color. These are called the vintage oversized square sunglasses for women. They also say retro, which obviously they're retro. They come in so many different colors too. But I like, I think most things are black or like a tortoise shell color. So I wanted to get something that was a little bit different. Number two. Those are different. They're fun. Let's go for number three. Oh, I like these. These are the Trendy Square Aviators. Oh, these say for men or women. They also come with this little polarized part. So when you're wearing the sunglasses, you can see the logo, but when you're not, you can't. Let me see if I can show y'all. 
See, you can see Sojo's. No, you can't. No, you can. No, you can't. Do you see it? <laughs> okay, number three for Brian. Those are cool. Right? The color is pretty. They have a little gold accent mm -hmm. on the temple part. Yeah. And pair number four. These are the trendy aviators, but look at that little detail on the little part that goes over your ear. Ooh, these say for men or women. They're also polarized. <gasps> these might be my favorite. Very like. Since we're stopped here, put them on. They say for men or women. We have a second. Let me see. Fire. They're big on your face, <laughs> but they do look like aviators. Well, I have a small, I have a small head. Yeah. Too. These are cool. It was like very 80s South Beach. All right. So what's your favorite? Aviator. These. We have orange ones and then we have the tortoise shell ones. Okay. So for you, the first ones. These? Yeah. The last ones too were kind of cool. Yeah. I like these the best. All right. Discount code. Everything's linked down below. Thank you to Sojo's for sending them. I'm gonna pick a pair to wear. Even though it's not super sunny outside, that overcast sometimes will get you. I'm gonna do these, I think. Welcome to the hunting camp. We're going in this little side road right here. We're the only ones here though. We're just getting the little trailer thing. What is that? That thing on a tripod right there. That is his satellite. That's a satellite. Yeah, so he has dish. Oh. So he just has so that thing moves. It looks like thing cameras. Inside the, inside I can the, see it. The, the ball. Yeah. Right. That moves when the satellite moves in the space in, in the sky. In space. That thing moves and huh. tracks the satellite, so you don't have to get out. So That's I was cool. thinking about getting one of those myself if we ever switched to dish. Like at our house. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So yeah. All right. Welcome There's to the hunting camp. Over there. That's Brian's right back there. Not the one. Not the one the on back. the end. The one in the middle. If you want to go in, we can. I'm gonna drop off that valve. Okay. And, uh... Backing it up. Look at that line. Oh my gosh! You got a fancy car. Trailer is hitched. Now he said he needs to go into the camper, drop some stuff off. Here's my outfit. Hopefully you can hear me because I'm setting you up on his truck. Free people shirt. Old Navy pants. Cole Haan sneakers. Did you get it done? Yeah. Okay. Let's rock and roll. I am in my car now. I'm running to Target because tonight we're celebrating my nieces getting their permits, like learner's permits to drive. Um, it's just like a little family dinner. We're going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, but I thought that I would buy them little congrats cards to give them tonight. So we're going to do that. So these are the ones I like. This one says hot dog. Woohoo. Congrats on the inside. Yay for you. Congrats. Oh, this one is a done deal. There's nothing you can't do. One of my nieces loves sharks and you just proved it. Congrats. You can do hard things. Don't forget how amazing you are. But I think what I'm going to do, shark for sure, like I said, and I kind of like the hot dog one. I tried to get cash back in there twice using my debit card. And finally the guy was like, I made my purchase and I put in my pen. It never gave me the option for cash back. And so then the lady behind me had like a little note pen. She was like, here, try this. And like gave me the money for it. And so I rang up, put my pen in, never asked me if I wanted cash back. And the guy was like, yeah, all you have to do is put your pen, like the guy that, the worker. And I was like, it's not working. And then finally the lady at the other register next to us was like, oh, do you have PNC? I said, yeah. She was like, yeah, I don't work with PNC. What? Why not? Why can't I get cash back? So I guess now I'm just going to run to the ATM. I just wanted to put a little bit of cash in there. I went and looked through the gift cards, but... They didn't really see anything and they can't drive by themselves yet to be able to like use the gift cards. I mean, I guess money's the same, but we are going on a trip soon and it would be nice for them to have, you know, a little bit of their own spending money. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to the bank. I will see you when we touch up the makeup, change clothes, get ready for supper tonight. I'm not done. Here's my outfit of the night. Top is from Kohl's. Jeans are American Eagle. Same Cole Haan sneakers. I re-straightened my hair, touched up my makeup. I'm gonna put some earrings on. And this is the dinner outfit. Are you gonna tell us about Shoes yours? Jeans are Nikes, jeans are Wranglers, shirt is L.L. Bean. This is the outfit for the evening. I love it. Hello, good morning. Today is Monday. I am getting ready 
I need to straighten my hair. I'm done with my makeup. Candace is on her way over. We're filming a sister Saturday. You'll see it this Saturday. We're going over to Destin. We're gonna go thrift shopping. It's supposed to be a beautiful day over there here. Not so much, but there it should be. Destin is about two hours from us, so not far at all. Um, but I told you earlier in the vlog that we would try some makeup together. I just tried this Kosas. It's called the Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. I don't love it. I think the formula is really creamy and nice, but I'm wearing just my normal like Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation that I've worn for probably 15 years at this point. And I feel like it's, let me see if I can get the light bright enough to show you. Oh, I don't know. I feel like it's causing my foundation to separate here and here, maybe a little bit here. Can you tell? I don't know. I can see it when I look in this little mirror. It's not terrible. Like from far away, it's fine. So it'll be fine for like today and filming and stuff. That highlight is bright. I'm trying to do this with my left hand because I'm holding you with my right hand. Um, what else? The Anastasia Brow Gel is going back. I didn't like the way that it made my brows look. I can't really explain it, but it was almost like I could see the little clear like dots like that came out of the pack, the bottle. Does that make sense? Out of the tube. And then the Summer Fridays stuff was too light. I tried to wear it the other night. It was one, maybe two shades too light. So I'm returning both of those. And then I need to, I want to anyways, reorder the Summer Fridays. But that's the update on the makeup. Um, I do have a really cute outfit from Lane Bryant. They sent like their linen it's like a striped shirt with linen pants. That's so cute. So I may steam that and take it with us. You know, like if I'm already, I'm going to put you right here. If I'm already going to be at the beach, like how cute would it be to have like a little linen outfit, like a picture or something? If I end up steaming it and taking it, I will insert some pictures or videos here so that you can see it and I'll link it down below. That's the plan for today. I wanted to give you a makeup update. Straighten my hair. She should be here any minute, and then we're headed out. So I'll see y'all later. Good morning. I'm concealing one of my chins. Tell them what we're doing today. Thrifting. In, where are we going? Oh, Destin. Destin. Are you vlogging the whole day? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna vlog a little bit. I watched Candace cut her own hair this morning on you YouTube. You said that, but you never said if you liked it. I did like it. I didn't physically I like, like it. I like it right now. I do. Slay. I'll link the video down below so y'all can watch. All right, we're gonna do a little bit here at my house and then we're heading out. We'll see you then, bye. Say bye. Do I have two chins still? I don't see any chins. You've concealed them all. I'm done. No chins. <laughs> no chins. First stop is gas. We just filled the tank up. How much did it cost? 35 23 I had, I think 100 miles to E, but we're going kind of far. Sorry, I don't know how to go further back. Candace. What? I'm over here. Why is it so close? Well. I don't know. It looks okay. different than usual. Hold on. Well, I had to, I had to rearrange. Like I took it off. We're ready. We're going to get coffees. Coffees at coffees. the. You know what? We are gonna pass a Starbucks if you'd rather have Starbucks. Oh, I didn't know that I wasn't gonna have Starbucks. Okay. Well, I'm going to Yellow Ham. She's going to get the Yellow Hams. But we can go to Starb. Oh, are you gonna get a beach bum? No. A beach coffee? Though the, today would be the day. Today would be the day. Though it's a little bit chilly outside. And, and overcast. And then no sun. Well, please we delete that out. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> I'm not deleting it out. <laughs> How'd you say it? I don't want to talk about it. No sun. Let me turn it on you a little bit more. There we go. You know, last time, was it me and you? Yeah. When the vlog that I just posted of me and you at the end doing the coffee car chats, whatever. The amount of people that said, I can't with your blinker. But it was my flashers on. Because once you order, you know, they tell you to turn your flashers on. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, so when you order, it, this is what it was, y'all. When you order at Yellow Hammer, they tell you to turn your flashers on so that, like your emergency light, so they know they've taken your order. So that's what's blinking in the background. But everybody thought it was my blinker and that I was just, I just didn't turn my blinker You just off. wilded. Yeah, that I was just wild now with my blinker going. Here. We'll turn those off. There's something seriously wrong with you. Turn, I'm sweating. Turn those off. I need the heater though. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah, do yeah. it with that. I'm cold blooded. No, you're Wait, not. Wait, warm blooded. I want the warmth. Wow. I think I was denied warmth as a child. 
No, you got everything you wanted. And if you didn't, you would beat him up. I was okay. not a bully. I was not. Sorry, I just choked a little bit. Oh, look at that little bug. A bug. It's a car, the bug. Oh. A town down. What? Bear, 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 bear. What? <laughs> you don't know that song? Oh, that's that guy who, um. Peace up. A town down. Mm -mm -mm. Bear, 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 bear. Can't say I do. Oh. God, it's kind of cold in here. I can't. All right, so this morning, do you know what you want? Because we're in line and you're not freaking out. Penis, you already know what I know what I want. You get the same thing again? I've never had anything else ever. Oh, that is just tragic. Are you going to get something from here or you want to go to Starbucks? I want to go to Stops. I want to go to Starbucks here. And I don't um, like that I have to use a straw comes, here. Oh. It's true. You know what I thought was you so just, funny? Can you just ask for another straw? <clears throat> Like if they have a different lid? Yeah, but... We should have brought a hairbrush. I got a hairbrush. Oh. For one time in my life, Taryn. Where's my... Is there? My phone. Oh, let me use it while you're not. Okay, see if it charges faster than that other one. Um, it's not charging at all. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's not plugged in. What happened? Oh. Where she have a plug back there? Yeah. Oh, it's my one. God. Because whenever I need to would need to recurl my, my hair. My hands are sweaty. Oh no, why? Because it's heat, man. Candace, we'll turn the heat down. I need it. I oh, can't here get comes, it. Here comes. Are you getting something? No. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Um, okay, I'm gonna have a large iced blondie, please. Okay. Large with, ice blondie. with no whipped cream. Okay. And uh, only two shots instead of three. Perfect, perfect. Got anything planned out today specific or not really? Uh, no. I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> Whatever you want to then. <laughs> Why do you always tell people you have no plans? Because what am I supposed to tell? What am I supposed to tell people? Like you literally have Hi. them right now in your phone. <laughs> We're just doing nothing today. We're doing a lot. I got. Um, I make videos for the internet, and okay. I'm gonna go and make some videos today. I don't want to tell people that. You don't want to tell people that you're about to go to the beach in swimsuits and it's raining. It's literally sprinkling. Candace, we already talked about this. That's irrelevant. I said, what locate? What part of town are you located in? It is. <laughs> Facebook Marketplace for you. Maybe they thought you said, is it still available? They didn't ask me to turn my emergency flashers on today. Now I feel like everyone thinks I'm a liar. I'm not sure you're telling the whole truth here. Don't even make me out to be a liar. <laughs> I saw that Starbucks has the new lavender drinks. Oh, Frappuccino yeah. Frappuccino blended beverage. See, she didn't know that they took my order. <laughs> In the last vlog when we were sitting here, we were driving with our coffees in just silence. <laughs> Did you watch it? It was just a tiny, like, two seconds. I know, but the whole thing was kind of long. <laughs> like in real life? Yeah. It was like two minutes of us just... I mean, sometimes I we need a minute. I wanted to, to fair, leave sometimes I need a minute. I wanted to leave more of it in, but I, didn't, I was like, it's not as funny. I mean, it is to me, but I don't know if other people would think it was as funny. So that was like, what, five seconds of us just... But what was funny about it? That we had just been like... That it was chaotic and yeah, then, then silence. Yeah. Did you pee before we left? I peed before I left. Oh, no. What? All right, we'll see you when we get to where we're going. Why were you so slow with that? Bye. Bye. That's for you. Um, that's going to be it. It's... Can I get a name for this order? Candace. Oh, hey, Candace. Thank you. She got this lavender, <laughs> this lavender, uh, ice lavender cream oat milk matcha. Wait, that's not what you said. You said know. a latte. I did. Oh no, we're about to find out. Hopefully, it's purple. Candace, it's not purple. No. Do you want me to wait so you can? Get no. I would really appreciate it if you wouldn't feel my chin. <laughs> no. I don't know. I thought a zipper top? I thought that was a zipper top. I'm sad for you that it's not purple. But that's okay. It's not purple. I mean, it's kind of a, a dusty purple, right? If you look yeah. real hard. But in the pictures, it's mm. like layered. It don't taste lavender. What does it taste like? Just a regular coffee, like a mm -hmm. latte. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. It's not purple. All right, we're gonna go drive. We got about a two hour drive to Destin. Um, we may make it before we stop and get lunch. We may not. I'm hungry. Somebody may not make it. I ate breakfast this morning. Did you eat breakfast? No, Taryn, I woke up at like 
and came to my house. I had a sneeze. So just I for some context, it, she lives an hour away. I left at eight oh five, but I got here. Early. You got here early, yeah, because then she she did her makeup and then we filmed. We stopped at the rest stop so that Candace, Walt, and I could use the restroom. There's an astronaut suit in here. Look at it. Too bad they won't let you get in it. Huh. That's so cool. We're just right at, you know, crossover from Alabama into Florida on I-10. And they've got all these different maps. It's a very, very nice rest stop. Candace would love this, an ice cream vending machine. <gasps> these are my favorite, these strawberry shortcake ones. I've never had the chocolate version, but that slaps. Coffee, <gasps> they have Starbucks, a coffee vending machine. That's wild. I want you to come look at the astronaut. I want you to stand next to it because I couldn't stand next to it and film myself. You want me to stand next to it or film? Well, yeah, because I want to get a little size reference to it. <laughs> How funny. And we're out. Look at the turtle. How cute. It's the sun. It's out. I get to put my sunglasses We've on. We've literally made it nowhere. We've been driving for maybe 40 minutes. Well, welcome to Florida. Welcome That's to Florida. 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 We're not new here. Florida's so happy to have us. They just let us take all these pictures inside of this restaurant. They should have somebody there that's like, let me take, because now we don't have any pictures together. <laughs> you want a greener to take our photos? How nice if they had a social media person that worked here. Right? Candace is having a slight conniption. <laughs> we were gonna go to a place called Party Foul. We're in the Dustin Commons, but they were permanently closed. So now we're at Smash Burger. She's not very happy. They got wings. Candace, what is it only wings? Okay, menu. They got signature burgers, specialty burgers, chicken, wings, shakes, beverages. That's what they got. Change of plans. We're gonna go look at the, <laughs> it's called City Food, City Food Court, uh, just to see what different options they have. And then we may go back to the burger place. Yeah, this one has We're gonna find something here. Oh. I'm sure and then maybe we stuff. get some, do this is fresh donuts. Maybe we get something cute to snack on, get her a little treat. Maybe she'll feel better. This is where we're going. Maybe, I feel like we read it online and they had a couple different options in here, right? Kayla says she's gonna pass out. Um, PB and J Bistro Cafe. Look, it's their initials. How cute is that? She's working the front, but I won't show her. Just in case she doesn't want to be on YouTube. Here's the menu. Yeah, we're gonna try this. So I ordered us a few different things to try. We have this cracked chicken sandwich. We split it with a little bag of potato chips. And then I'll show you the rest when it comes out. The mac and cheese burger with the spring mix salad. And then we got a little Grilled cheese. She called it a caro grilled cheese. A caro grilled cheese. I don't know what that is. Me neither. I see the tomato. I Maybe would have said. Maybe with a Q. Maybe. Oh this, that looks so good. Do you like mac and cheese? Yeah, but not on a burger. <laughs> but we're, I'll probably eat it and then eat the burger. Okay. Look how pretty all these umbrellas are. It's so simple, but yet so colorful and so pretty, right? Like such a simple thing. And it's so pretty. Oh, she's trying to take a picture. We made it to the beach. Candace is running in to scope out the restroom situation for us. She brought a couple of swimsuits that she wants some pictures in. So we're gonna change here. We're parked at the like nature, nature trail area. It was only six bucks and it is gorgeous. There's dunes in front of me, pier, beach, like clear water behind me. This is such a better deal. We had a hard time finding like public beach access, um, which I've heard is a problem here because most places like houses that you rent or buy or hotels you stay in, they all have their own private beaches. So it's kind of hard to find public beach access. Well, we did find it, but it was like $20 to park. So we kept driving luckily and ended up finding this little spot and it is gorgeous. Sand dunes in front of me, this is my car. You can't walk on them. So we obviously will not do that, but she found a picture that she really liked, like an inspo picture. So I think she's gonna try to stand on the little side here and get the dune background it's such white sand we have white sand where i live too um the water is the difference here 
And then behind me, this is the little pavilion, restrooms in this little room here. You've got a couple different covered pavilions down the way and then the long pier down this way right here is to the beach. I don't know how far the water is. Here's what it looks like from the pier. Well, from this part of the little pavilion, we'll walk down to even more water. Hello, I brought the bag, is that okay? Did you need anything else out of the car? Okay. I know, the water is gonna be so clear, so pretty. freezing but look how clear and beautiful this is y'all we found a little oh my gosh like a little section <laughs> with no people well there's people right next to us but no one in the direct right in front of me this is beautiful wow it's freezing but it's so pretty swimsuits done swimsuits done the beach was beautiful it was it's such a pretty day that water is insane it was freezing but i'm glad we came out here though it was so it's pretty. so and it Let's flash back to Candace in the beginning being concerned about it being overcast and not sunny. I was concerned, but here it is, the sun. It's beautiful. I'm allowed to be concerned here. It took us a little bit longer to get here, but that's okay because I think it kind of gave the sun time to come out. Haven House Thrift Shop. This is our... We're going straight to the furniture in the back, just in case. Again, we don't really know what we're looking for, but just cute, knick-knacky decor type things. Maybe some boob lamps. Oh, those are cute. And they're the right color. Does it say Haven House? I don't know. Oh, I don't know, but this is cool. This right here for $88. <gasps> okay, we'll leave that alone. Pillows, two bucks. But they do look a little ragged. I, I mean, for so $4, though. We have to cut some of the fringes off, you know? Yeah. But for four dollars, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. Do you do you want this? Do you need this? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you saw that. Oh, in case you thought that you need it looks like a bookend actually. Oh, it was standing up when I saw it. Are you finding anything else? Well, I thought I might need sixteen coffee pots. Oh, okay. What was in that section? More furniture, but like big furniture. This little bowl is cute. Maybe we could find some cute coffee mugs or something. I don't need that. Nope. Don't step in that puddle, Candace. It's pretty deep, actually. Let me let this truck go. Stop number two, Smith's Antiques Mall. I'm excited for this one. It could be really good. Oh, your uh, GPS is going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so knick-knacky, yeah, knick-knack stuff. So really, I think just when we see it, we'll know. And that's not always easy. I like these. Yeah, but you could put it in a vase for it to pop up behind the side of the couch. I don't, I don't think that's a good spend of dollars. Okay. Next. What this is. Oh, that right there. I'm vetoing. <laughs> Veto. That would be so pretty to have. I just, I have nowhere to put anything. Like, we don't have like a dedicated office space or anything for it. But that would be perfect. You could put your bright colored pillows and stuff on it. It looks hard, but it's cool. Candace found this divider. I kind of like, I don't like the, the screen look. I like the other one, I think, behind it. This one? What do you like? I think. I How like much the are pattern. they first? I like the What's the price? Um, this is $125 for this one. Okay. But it's it folds out three more times. So it's this piece plus three. So it's pretty long. Okay. That's really pretty. I like that. See, like this part goes against the wall. Oh, like a hallway table? Yeah. I like it. Okay, but you like it. Just pull it down. Pull it down. Hands. Just pull it down. Because <laughs> I feel like it's light enough, right? Where it'd be easy to move around. <gasps> it says sold. Yeah, Jason, someone's Jason. Jason. He beat us to it. Look at this little table. This is so cute. Is it metal? Wood? What is it? 149 round table with some parts. It, no. it is like it's not worth 150 bucks it is some but that's of... that's the colors i think and the height that we would need where we're sitting it kind of looks like gold writing mm -hmm. i like that though I just remember that. that yeah remember that because that could be a good option look how cool these are not that this is what we want or what we're looking for but that, that is so cool 
okay cool you you get that okay and just I'm bring it to your house yeah and put it up on the wall. okay maybe we don't actually know what we're looking for have you thought about that oh i have one of these I you do. mom has one too on it was a couple summers ago that we vlogged it. Okay, I don't know if we really know what we're looking for, to be fair. So maybe we should regroup. What we didn't take into account what? is that we came to a touristy beach to look for jewel tone stuff. Yeah, everything's like beach themed, which is expected. We just didn't think about that. Surprise, it's dark outside. And we're driving home. We uh, meddled around at the Fud Puckers. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, totally kill some time cute. because we didn't want to get stuck in five o'clock traffic. Like I plug it in and I open my YouTube mm -hmm. and Taryn's voice just starts playing. I haven't depressed nothing. It just happens. It's the way I like it. Is that set that way? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's like your most watched person. Do you hear me when you plug in? No. Should I be offended right now? <laughs> I don't know why. You have to look like maybe you were watching a video or something. Well, when I go to my own channel mm -hmm. and I hit view channel, it automatically plays like my top video not yeah. the top one but like the one you put up there mm -hmm. yeah mine does that too if I go to my channel like my channel landing page mm -hmm. what anyway was the point in this again? we've been Candace got to my house bef before 9 a.m. today and it is now 7 p.m. so we've been on a long journey she acts like she's never spent this much time with me before. But that one time we went to Tennessee and you literally moved into my Stop room. Stop it. Oh, I thought you were going to say we spent 11 hours in the car. Not to mention the fact that we avoided highways. toll roads. Was it highways or highway? Toll roads? We avoided everything. We took we avoided, the scenic route. Yeah. Uh, accidentally, I clicked a button on my maps and we took the scenic route and it took us 11 hours to get there. We did vlog though, so I'll link it down below if you want to watch. But anyway, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Dip the toe in the water. That's right. Dip, dip it. it. Dip it. Dip it low. Dip. Pick it up slow. <laughs> no. No. You tell me I'm picking your toes up slow. <laughs> We're not going to do that again. We're not. Okay, bye. Hello. Happy Tuesday. It is, it's 3.45. I have, I'm doing laundry. Can you hear the washing machine? I had planned on getting ready and filming today, but I had the worst allergic reaction to that concealer yesterday. Like, I don't even know if you can tell it looks normal right now all right here was so dry and red and flaky and it burned it burned so bad so I opted for no makeup today and to just kind of let it do whatever it needed to do Candace did take a picture of me at lunch yesterday because she was like it looks like you are having an allergic reaction to something so I'll insert it here it's not the best picture but it, my my eye was burning so bad. By the way, we had so much fun yesterday. The beach, absolutely beautiful. Clear water, white sands, which we have white sand here, but we don't have super clear water. It's blue. Or if you go to like Dauphin Island, it's more of like a brownish blue, but in Destin, it is clear and it is beautiful. And it was the perfect day. But I wanted to show you a couple of goodies that I picked up. I almost ordered the night before we went from Bath and Body Works and I'm glad I waited because online there wasn't a sale. Unless like the sale started yesterday and I was gonna miss it by ordering the day before. But they were $3.95 soaps. So not as good as the $2.95 deal that they do sometimes, but they were $3.95. So we got some spring scents. Fresh Cut Lilacs. I love the look of these. They're so pretty. Fresh Rainfall in Linen. What is this one? Oh, Blueberry Bellini. I love their Peach Bellini. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Peach Bellini. I don't think I've ever tried the Blueberry one. We also got, ooh, White Tea and Sage. Look how pretty that bottle is. Last but certainly not least, Pineapple Prosecco. You know, I'm really surprised I didn't buy Kitchen Lemons because that's like one of my favorites. Um, but I'm very happy. Five soaps. It was like 20 bucks, less than 20 bucks, 21.13. We stopped off at the Fud Puckers before we came home. It was like 4.30, 4.45, and we didn't want to get stuck in five o'clock traffic trying to get through town to get to the interstate. So we opted to go to Fud Puckers. Candace, you know we need a t-shirt. <laughs> I know we do. Fud Puckers. What does it say? Read it again. You ain't been puckered if you been puckered. Two. I'm pretty sure it's an ongoing deal all the time. Buy two shirts, get one half off. Me, Candace, and then we picked up my mama's shirt so we could all have key matching shirts. This one is mine, yeah. They're all the same shirt, just different like bright tie-dye colors. It's like the psychedelic print on the back. 
I love this. So mine's in the bright blue. Just has the little Fud Puckers logo on the front. I love how bright this is. Do I need more t-shirts? No. Do I have a problem? Yes. But this is what we did. So I got the blue. Candace got like a beautiful, super bright purple. And then we picked out my mom, the green one. Look how pretty the green, the print is with the green shirt. So that's what we did. Did we need any of these again? No. Oh, hers has a real big tag on it. Stuff your mother wouldn't wear. How funny because I bought this for my mother. I've been reading a new book. Well, actually the second in a series that I've been reading. I'll try to find it. If I can if I can remember or like I'll look at the name and link it down below for you because again, I've read a whole book and I'm on to the second one now. So that means that I really like it. Um, I just went and picked up a prescription from Publix. That's all I'm doing today. I wanted to give you a little update on the concealer. I did go ahead and do a refund for it too because initially I'd only done the refund for those other two products I talked about. And then when that one gave me like that weird, it looks totally normal right now, which is good, I guess, but it hurts so bad. It feels normal. Um, I wanted to just let you know about that and then show you my little goodies that I purchased. And tomorrow Candace is coming over for something else that we're doing. Oh, and then I have to go to the dentist. It's Wednesday at 12.35, 36. I am headed to the dentist. My, I don't know why I can't get my thoughts together. I think because when I'm looking at the camera right here, the it's like, I think because my shirt and the inside of my car is dark, so it's kind of blowing out the view that you're looking at here. Anyways, so I told you last week, I think I told y'all yesterday too, I'm getting a filling, one of the fillings broke on this side of my mouth. I didn't know what happened. Now I know. How weird is that? But before, like, I felt nothing. And then once they told me about it, I'm like, oh, wait, does that kind of hurt? How weird is that? Um, but we're going to get that fixed. I need to be there at one. Turns out I'm going to be there way early. But if I don't leave in enough time, then I'm always late. You know, so I'd rather be there early and get a chance to sit for a minute. Um, this shouldn't take long. Hopefully I'm in and out of there in like 30 minutes. That would be the ideal best case scenario. And then I think I want to go to Ulta. They're doing like the half off beauty event, I think through the 28th and today's the 20th, but they have the Purology Strength Cure Shampoo and Conditioner, two for $55. So normally I think they're 36 or 38 bucks each. So now they're two for 55. So I wanna get that. I almost actually ordered it for pickup online and I'm glad I didn't because I remembered I have that store credit little gift card. It's called a store credit versus a gift card because I can't use it online. I can only use it in store. So I'm glad I didn't do that because I, I forgot that I had that card and I wouldn't have been able to use it. So I thought that maybe we could go pick that up. And then there was something else that I wanted to get while I was there. I can't remember. Um, I don't really need anything else to be honest, <laughs> but we'll go do that. And then I need to get a few groceries. I drank the rest of the coffee this morning. I drank some of the one that Brian really likes. So I don't know if there's enough for him to get a whole like glass out of it in the morning. So I'm gonna get him another one. We need something for supper. I need a couple things for breakfast. So we'll do like a little Publix run after Ulta. As long as I feel okay, I think I'll feel fine. Um, so that's the plan. My eye update, it's this one. It looks way better, but the skin feels kind of rough and dry. I'm inclined to say it's probably eczema. I'm very prone to eczema on my eyelids around my eyes. So I'm very hesitant to try different products and I'm just careful. Um, so once I find a brand that works for me, I kind of stick with it. And I went out on a limb this time and I'm not saying that that the Kosas concealer is bad. So many people love it and I wanted it to work for me and it just didn't. Um, so I just put like my normal skincare, put extra moisturizer there. I do have a cream, an eczema cream. But because I'm not 100% sure that's what it is, I don't want to just put a random cream on my eyelid. And that's real close to my eye. And that, that's my good eye, you know? So I'm just going to let it ride. And I guess if it gets worse, then I'll make an appointment to go see the dermatologist. But for now, like, it looks okay. It's just really dry and rough. And, like, that little part right there. So... All right, let's go get this dentist over with. I wonder if I go in early, if they'll see me early. I'm like 10 minutes early. So if I have to wait, that's okay. But hopefully I don't. Okay, just kidding. They're closed from 12 to 1 for lunch. 
So I'm gonna sit in my car. Y'all do not let me forget to use the store credit little car that I have because I don't even know how much is on it. But I may look and see if they have that Redken Acidic Bond one shampoo and conditioner that I talked about last week. We'll see how much they are. I can't talk straight, my mouth is numb. Purology is what we came for, remember? 50% off daily beauty steals. Let's see if they're still, yes they are on sale, two for 55. So the blue one is the Strength Cure, that's my favorite. This one I like, but it kind of makes my hair a little bit heavy. So we're gonna go for a conditioner. Is that what that is? Yes. And a shampoo. This is the Redken one. I really do want this too. I just don't know. Oh, it is Hunter Green, remember? I couldn't remember what color it was. Shampoo and conditioner, and then they have the gloss. And then I think that's the heat protectant because when I looked online, yeah, heat protectant. When I looked online, they didn't have the little gloss in stock. Wait, they have it now. This is it, this is the exact same one that she used when I got my hair done. Gloss is 33 bucks, conditioner 33, shampoo 33, leave-in treatment. Is that what this is, the heat protectant? 33, no, that says gloss. I wonder how much the heat protectant is. Wait, does this mean that Redken's on sale? Two for 35, shampoos and conditioners, 10.1 ounce. Okay, what size is this? 10.1, 10.1. I wonder if this is 35 bucks. The Redken was not included, and the one that I picked, I can't talk. And the two for 35 special, I feel so weird talking. My mouth is still numb. But I went ahead and got it anyways because I had that card that I remembered to use, my little store credit card in-store credit is what they call it. It had 50 bucks on it. So I went ahead and bought all of them. So I saved 50 bucks and I'm not upset about it. I'm very happy. I love higher end shampoos and conditioners, but there's also drugstore brands that I love just as much. Just as much as maybe not the right term because that Purology one, incredible. Yeah, Purology, incredible. I will continue to buy that for the rest of my life. It's so good. The Redken one, she used it on my hair in the salon and I loved it. So that's why I bought it. Um, but as far as like drugstore shampoos and conditioners, the L'Oreal, the black and gold one, you can get two in a box for like $8. That's one of my all-time drugstore favorites. Um, and right now I have the big Tresemme Keratin something shampoo and conditioner i think it was two for ten dollars and i do like that as well but that purology is just unmatched you can't you can't beat it and then i splurged on the redken one too so let's go to Publix. i have no idea what i want to get for supper tonight so i need to do a little bit of research brian's out of tea so let's grab him one of these we're gonna do candace's chicken and rice one night maybe tonight so let's get a couple of chicken breasts this is my favorite brand let me go ahead and grab a couple more. Let's get two more bags. Oh, I think that's the end. There it is. Let's do pork chops one night, but let me grab the thin with bone in it versus like we usually get these super thick ones, but I don't see thin with the bone. I see thin boneless. Here they are. Okay, we'll grab these. And then another night this week, we'll just do spaghetti and then Brian's off this weekend. So we like the lean, yeah, this one will be fine, the 7%. For pork chop night, we'll do a regular potato for me, a sweet potato for Brian, and that'll be good for that night. We need bacon, so Oscar Mayer is buy one, get one free. I like the center cut and the thick cut. I guess I could mix and match and then maybe, maybe we'll do one, I'll put that back, I won't leave it there, <laughs> one this weekend for like breakfast, so we'll do this thick cut one, and we'll grab this center cut. Spaghetti night, we like the spicy one. I might get, okay, this might be crazy, but we don't use like a seasoning packet or anything. I'm gonna do regular spaghetti, yeah. Um, but I saw Candace's video the other day and she did a packet, like a spaghetti like little packet mix and we've never used that. So maybe I'll try to find one. You would think they would be right here with all the sauce. Or maybe here, oh, thick and zesty spaghetti. Is that what we're putting in our spaghetti? I mean, I just like salt and pepper the mix and then season the meat and use the sauce, which is seasoned. But sometimes it's a little bland, so let's grab that. We need some cheese for Candace's little recipe. So these are buy one, get one free. 
Let's do two of the same just in case we need more than one little bag. Cream of chicken and cream of mushroom. Again, for Candace's little recipe. I, I'll ask her if I can link that for y'all because I don't know. I don't know if it's a specialty for her or not or if she'll let me link it. If she will, I will link it for you down below. Cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. Oh, not chicken and rice. Not chicken noodle. Okay, here we go. Cream of chicken. I don't know if I can grab them with one hand. Oh, I can. We definitely need butter. Let's grab the big one. We've been out for a while, so this will last a minute. Sour cream. I think that's the last thing for Candace's recipe. Coffee for me. And then this is the one that Brian had, the dark roast unsweetened from Starbucks that he really liked. I swear to y'all, I'm forever buying toilet paper. What is this, a 12 pack roll for 14 bucks? I'll take it, I like the mega, not, they have a super mega, not the super mega. Just the regular mega, but for 14 bucks. So you get eight, there's an eight roll pack or a 12, 12 roll pack. Oh, that says super mega okay we're going for the 12 we don't really have a ton of storage for it which is why i usually don't buy this much but i mean i can't keep coming to the store i mean i can but you get what i'm saying we have guests in the kitchen for supper tonight hello oh I don't, you probably can't hear brian singing in the shower all right we're starting we're making candace's I already said it famous chicken and rice bake she has given me permission to share the recipe i will list it down below for you these are the ingredients. It's super simple. She said that she uses bagged rice, but I just put us some in our rice cooker. I just like it that way better. And then my chicken is almost done. In here, it's in the air fryer. And then I'm going to slice it up with the rice, with all the ingredients. I'm being optimistic, okay? Usually I make way too much. So I'm trying to half her recipe because there's two of, her, of us versus four of them at her house. So this is what I'm gonna fill up for us tonight. But just because I know myself, I have an extra little dish just in case it's a little bit too much. So this is what we're doing tonight. It goes in the oven 350 for 45 minutes, I think she said, and then take it out. The last 10 minutes is when you crush the Ritz crackers on top with a little bit of melted butter and shredded cheese another 10 minutes anyway it's all down below so I'll show you what it looks like when it's done here's the finished product it looks delicious it smells delicious the recipe is linked down below or listed down below supper's ready all right that's a wrap on this video I gotta go I'm gonna eat supper I'll see you in my next one goodbye